Hello out there, my name is Milesy, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about something that is probably going to piss off a lot of people, but, you know, I said I wanted to switch up my content, so here we go. Let's really switch it up and talk about tracing and artwork. And I think you can probably already tell that I'm not going to tell you that tracing is bad because, oh, would you look at that? I'm tracing a picture. Now, I'm not saying that you should go out and find a picture of Bugs Bunny and trace it and say that you drew that. That is not what I mean. But you can see here that I use these little digital art dolls. They are these little... It's like an app that I got on my iPad. It was like $5 and you just have these posable art dolls. And that's what I use for a lot of my artwork. And you can kind of see that even though I use these art dolls, I'm not totally tracing over them. I'm using these art dolls just to make my life easier. I could sit here and I could have drawn this entire thing without the doll and very easily got the same results. I'm not tracing one to one. I just didn't want to sit here and spend two hours trying to get a pose that I had in my head and just work on these really horrible sketches. And you'll see what I mean, where you can kind of see here, I really struggled with this hair. I had it in my mind, and for whatever reason, it just wasn't happening. There were a few instances where, you know, it looked okay, but it's not what I wanted. And I spent an ungodly amount of time working on this hair. And you'll see in the background as well. I did the background without using any kind of assets. I do sometimes trace over stock images for background. But let's talk about what it means to actually trace. Because I think the rhetoric of tracing is bad, you shouldn't trace your artwork, gets severely misunderstood by people who don't even do a lot of art to begin with. Because what people should mean when they say, you shouldn't trace your artwork, that's bad, raw, don't do that. They do mean don't go out and take a picture of Bugs Bunny and trace over the lines and change his colors and say that it's yours. But if you look at my line art right here, it doesn't actually match anything that's on the doll underneath. Whenever that doll that I used as the pose comes back into view, I used the doll as a pose just so that I didn't have to sit here and spend a million years getting this perspective right. But people should understand that you're allowed to do that. You are allowed to take resources. You're allowed to use art dolls. You're allowed to use stock images. You're allowed to rotoscope. If rotoscoping and tracing were that seriously forbidden in artwork, your favorite Disney movies wouldn't exist. Your favorite DreamWork movies wouldn't exist because that's how it was done. They were traced. And that's a really good skill to learn, actually. Not the tracing one-to-one, -one, completely copying all the lines, because in the end, what I started out with my art doll definitely wasn't what I wound up with. What is really important to learn when you're tracing is looking at the thing that you're tracing and saying, how can you change this? Use it as the basis, but don't actually completely just wholesale reuse it. And here we go. I'm back in this absolute mess of his hair. Attempt number God knows what. I kept leaving it and coming back to it. I even did try to look up some pictures on Google that I might have been able to really heavily reference. Couldn't find a single one from the angle that I wanted, so I result resorted to another method that I use a lot, which is just the messiest undersketch in the world, and eventually something came out of it that I really liked, and it was the shape and the form that I wanted, and it did what I wanted. It took me forever to get there, though. And then I had to go and uh, kind of clean it up, and it got there eventually, but there it goes. 
I would have much rather have spent the several hours, I think, it took me to get that hair right, because Procreate uh, records really weirdly, so you don't really see everything that goes on. So you don't see just how much time I spent on his hair. And then here we go again. You'll just see attempt after attempt after attempt trying to get his toes right, because the doll that I traced, traced the doll that I used, didn't have the right kind of feet for this character. So I sat here and just kind of had to spend a lot of time that could have been spent doing other things, trying to figure out how do I get the toes to look the right way, while also still look like there is weight and that they are supporting that weight. And I don't even know how many attempts that was, and you can still see me on that first one just really struggling even after I find something that I wanted to get there. And this was a background that I didn't trace because I already had the background in my mind. I used stock images for a few other scenes with this character, which let me solidify how I want the rest of these scenes to look. And you can see the first pass on the line art in the background is very boring. I didn't really do a lot with it. The line, uh, the line edges on the desk and the dresser in the background are all just kind of boring. I had the window pretty good because I had already done that kind of window once before, so I knew what I was doing. So that one came out just really nice immediately. But as soon as I started getting the character's color down, I realized that the background was just not dynamic enough compared to how fluid the character looked. So once I finished figuring out how to get the gray in his hair, which I'm still learning how to use Procreate, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but I got there eventually. I realized I have to completely redo the background. And I kind of would have liked to have had a reference because I was just really doing things all on my own. At first I tried, well, maybe I'll just add some elements to it that might liven it up. I tried to add some clutter to the desk, uh, which you'll see here in a few moments. I tried to add some clutter to the dresser and hated everything. So I just decided, well, screw it. I'm just going to start completely over on the background because I hated it. And yeah, here I'm trying to draw a laptop back there, which I liked that, but the more I added clutter to the background, the more I realized that I had too many things in the background anyway. So now I start just redrawing everything, kind of vaguely blocking it out. I decided, eh, the desk doesn't really, really need to be there anyway, so let's put more effort into making the dresser look like a thing, get rid of the desk. I think I fixed up the window a little bit, added some wall paneling to kind of Give me some things in the background there. Put a little bit of that clutter on the dresser. And there we go. And at this point, that doll that I traced is now completely useless because the light source doesn't match where I wanted the light, so the light source here. But using those dolls to trace, rotoscoping over an animal that's running is a very powerful learning tool. And when you do that, you will learn how different parts of the body connect together. How do different parts of the body move? How are they shaped? And the more you can teach yourself that, the easier it is to draw without that. And the easier learning shading and learning form and learning how to use your dolls, use your rotoscoping as the initial building block becomes. So what I do for the points where I no longer need my art doll is I just very roughly block out my shadow. And then on a new layer, I put my shading and my highlighting down. I have no idea what's going on. There's so many little fiddly things on this drawing that it's really hard to keep up, especially with this really stupid aspect ratio because I did it vertically because that made the most sense in my mind. Uh, kind of regret that because it makes a really horrible video. But trace your artwork. Go buy some art dolls. 
It doesn't matter if they're digital. It doesn't matter if they're little wooden mannequins. It doesn't matter if they're Barbie dolls. Just if it helps you to learn, it's a good, it's a valid learning tool. Just don't go tracing Bugs Bunny. <laughs>